<laughs> Hello, I'm Trent, aka O Trademark here. <sighs> we are streaming another giveaway stream for free clone tokens. That's right. If you want to join my server right here, uh, join the live stream. And everyone that joins this live stream, check this out. That's how it works. We just send trade requests. I have three accounts. Uh, I was donated a very generous donation by Blobman. And uh, so now we have a lot more. Uh, we have about 200 more clone tokens to give away. I want to get rid of all of them before the event ends. Make sure you guys have enough clone tokens so that you can do one final um, one final clone before the end of the event. Now, I do want to talk about the clones because I've been getting a million questions about this, okay? Let's go to Summer Island and let's talk about this. If you put a unit into the clone machine that has longer duration left than the event has left. So the event, let's first add, answer the first most common question I get. When is the event ending? The event is ending Saturday at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern. So that's typical update time. It's going to it's going to end when update 34 comes out. OK, and when it ends, if you still have a unit in the clone machine, that's going to take longer to clone than the time left on the event. It's OK. Dyrub has said that you'll be able to get that unit out somehow. I'm not sure if we'll still have access to Summer Island. I'm not sure if we just extract it from our inventory, but he has said that we'll be able to get our units out of the clone machine. However, you have to wait the full you have to wait the full duration. So if you still have two weeks left on your clone machine, when you when the event ends, you're still going to have to wait two weeks or whatever, you know, if you're sitting in time chamber, whatever. So that is uh, you will be able to get it out, but you will not be able to clone additional units. So for the time being after the update, you're not going to be able to clone anything more. So it's very important that you guys utilize uh, the clone machine as much as possible before the end of the event. Try and get one more clone in before tomorrow. And then sometime on Saturday before the event, you want to start one last clone before the event ends. If you can, that's ideal. So we have our double light speed Luffy here. We've already cloned him once. So here he is, He's we got, we got his clone. Here he is in the clone machine with a day left. So before the event ends, we're gonna get two more out and then I'm gonna put him back in one more time so that in basically in one week's time for the next damage event, I'm gonna have four double light speed limit broken Luffy's. I'm pretty excited. Plus we have this one non limit broken that I can basically do something with. Maybe it's not going to be double light speed, but it does have one light speed on it. So that is my game plan. And basically I've just received a lot of questions on what happens with your units. That is the answer. Uh, the event ends Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern, and then you can remove your units from the clone machine afterwards. Uh, or you'll be able to get them in some capacity. So that's what we have there. Um, you know, if you guys do want to stop by the stream, I will also be doing uh, giveaways in our Discord server um, for both anyone and for the Elite Marker members for supporting the channel. So go to discord.gg slash otrademark and there will be giveaways in the giveaway channel. I'm going to give away all of these clone tokens. Uh, basically all my summer stuff I'm going to try and uh, get rid of um before the event ends so uh we can't trade the summer reroll tokens but i think we can trade shards so if i have any shards here uh yeah anyways we'll try and give away as much stuff as we can here um before the event ends so stop by the stream or stop by the discord channel and enter those and yeah that's it for me guys malo alpito thanks for watching and peace i'm out of here